So I was married once. I was married just long enough to figure out marriage is a lot like a timeshare. I got sucked in by a great presentation and the promise of a free TV. <laughs> and nobody told me TV stands for transvestite. <laughs> Should have seen the alarm bell when I got the Victoria's Secret bill for $1,000 and knew none of it was in my drawer. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly enough, he was a gourmet chef at a five-star restaurant, so he would never let me cook. No, he'd come home and fix me a packet of instant oatmeal. I'm too tired. I've been serving customers all day. <laughs> so I got a job in a house. <laughs> Came home, fixed him a bottle of lotion. Well, I didn't want to run my hose. Yeah. So, um, I just think men should be easier to read. You know, like a home pregnancy test. We just pee on one, he sticks around, that's a boyfriend. Because seriously, sex should be like going to Disneyland. You know, you go for the afternoon with a friend, just don't come home sick from the rides or with those mouse ears. <laughs> I've had a lot of black guys asking me out lately, and this kind of worries me. Well, not because they're black, but I've just been wondering, maybe I've been letting myself go. <laughs> I mean, like every other comic, I came to LA to get a big break in showbiz. I just don't know if I want mine to be on the Judge Mathis show, Sue and Tyrone for a $79 phone bill. <laughs>